Morning coast and countryside people. Now this is something I should have done a few days ago but I've been busy this week so uh, this is the second part of the parcel from Daz from um, Cacti Mania who also has a channel called Crystal Mania. So uh, what I'm doing I'm opening this part on my other channel which is the East Coast and Countryside so uh, some of you already uh, will have seen bits of it on our um, Cactus channel. But uh, this is the follow-up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open everything up and put it out so we can go through it one by one rather than unwrap things piece by piece. So I'll come back to that in a minute. Well, I've got them all unwrapped and it seems that Daz has sent me an entire wing of the British Geological Museum, which is fantastic. Thank you very much, Daz. We'll have a, a closer look at each one now. I'll put up uh, some stills at the end so you can have a proper look. And we've got a, a Promiseris ammonite from Charmouth, which has been very carefully um, cleaned. It's still in the stone that it was found in. But it's been cut away so you can see the ammonite, which looks like it's been replaced by iron pyrites. And uh, that's lovely. I used to um, collect fossils on the beach at Charmouth where that came from. And I think I might even have a video on my channel of uh, me balancing stones on that beach or one very near it anyway. So that's super. And then we've got a polished ammonite half which has been sliced very carefully down the middle. You can see all the, the chambers there where it's um, it's grown and it's moved round its shell as it grows, it grows, the creature starts off here and then moves into the bigger bits. It only actually lives in the the end of chambers and the rest are hollow and they're used for buoyancy. And if you turn it over it looks very much like the um, modern day Nautilus which is the only survivor of um, the Ammonites. They all, there were trillions of them, uh, loads of different species as you can see here, Daz has sent quite a few of them. Um, but when the dinosaur hit, the, the dinosaur, the um, asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs, uh, not only did it plunge the world into darkness, it also um, acidified the uh, top layers of the sea, uh, where most of these creatures lived, and uh, they didn't survive. Most of them got wiped out, except for the Nautilus, which, unlike the others, lays a single leg, and it lays it very deep in the ocean. So. Um, it was away from all the chaos that was going up on, going on up at the surface, and they survived. They're the only survivor of the, the ammonites, which is very interesting. Another one here that's been replaced by iron pyrites, which uh, is basically it's turned it into a metal ammonite. It's uh, iron sulfide, I think. Um, which is, you can feel the weight on these. That's a lovely one there. I've only ever found a few of those. Um, again, used to find them at Charmouth, uh, and you'd sieve down in the uh, the sand near the rocks on the, the beach. Uh, and this one is a brachiopod, which is like a, a type of cockle. Lots and lots of those around, but uh, that's the only one I've got now. As, uh, as Daz probably knows, I uh, I lost my fossil and rock collection a few years ago, and I've been trying to build things back up, and this is going a long way towards uh, making a complete collection again. And this huge one here, a Dactyliosarius from Yorkshire. And uh, whoever's found this and got it has cleaned it up and varnished it to uh, stop it crumbling. Lovely specimen. Dactyl meaning um, finger. As in pterodactyl meaning uh, winged fingers. And uh, a little ammonite here, again, very much like the ones I used to find in Somerset. And over here we come on to the, the rocks and minerals. And we've got some blue kyanites. Now, I don't know anything about this one. Um, very lovely luster on the thing. Uh, it looks tabular in form. Gorgeous crystals. So, well, I'll have to look that one up later. 
Um, but now I do know about this one. It's um, this one's from Morocco. This is quite a rare one. This is a, a secondary mineralization. Uh, it's derived from lead deposits. And so this is only formed, only found near lead veins, lead deposits like in hydrothermal veins. So there's lovely crystals on that. And Amazonites. Yeah, don't think this is from the online seller, but uh, it looks like a, a type of feldspar. Obviously from Peru, where a lot of the cactus come from too. Lovely colour on it. So, uh, I'm sure Mrs. will be uh, very interested in these because um, she was into lapidary and the rose quartz. A gorgeous little specimen there. Not found in the UK. This one's from, oh, it doesn't say where this one's from, but it's not from the UK. Yes, see the lovely pinky tinge to that. And here, garnets. Good lord. From China. They're huge. I think these are some sort of gemstone, aren't they, Dad? You can see the uh, crystalline form of that. Lovely. I'm sure if I held them up to the light, I'm not going to at the moment, you'd be able to see the sort of blood red colour of them. But uh, I won't do that with the video because it will probably just upset the video camera. And some pyrites from Peru. Again, cactus country. Lovely, lovely crystals there. And this one, Appetite from Madagascar. Again, not a place where cactus come from, but a lot of succulents come from there. And Appetite, I don't really know anything about it apart from it's number five on the hardness scale. I do remember that. So, uh, I'll say, I'll put uh, some individual pictures up so we can have a closer look. But uh, thank you very much to Daz and Edith for all these. That's uh, absolutely lovely. And thank you everyone for watching.